What does the future hold for the interaction between humans and machines? Yamaha engineers explore this question with the Motoroid 2. This concept builds upon an idea from about six years ago and incorporates current trends like artificial intelligence algorithms and facial recognition. Motoroid 2 is self-balancing, thanks to the swing arm and rear wheel moving independently from the rest of the bike. Moreover, Motoroid 2 has been trained to move without a rider, performing so skillfully that you could even dance with the bike. It's also mentioned that it can recognize certain gestures. However, Yamaha's promo page doesn't specify how to control the motorcycle without handlebars just yet. Makani is a kite designed for generating electricity. After seven years of development, the creators of Makani went from making a 20 kilowatt prototype to having a fully functional industrial kite producing approximately 600 kilowatts. At one point, Google acquired the Makani project. However, in 2019, the company stopped funding it. And in February 2020, Makani was discontinued by Alphabet, Google's parent company. The operation of the Makani kite is quite straightforward, though. It ascends to a height of around 300 to 400 meters and moves in circles, producing electricity through its rotors. A tether connects it to a ground station to transmit the generated power. Makani needs wind speeds of 3.5 meters per second or higher for launching. The 600 kilowatts it generates can supply electricity to approximately 30 households. Up next in today's lineup is a project by the Russian company Hoversurf, who's busy working on a futuristic flying car. One of its standout features is the use of engines based on the Venturi effect. These engines are designed without propellers, making them quieter, more compact, and safer compared to their counterparts. Moreover, an air cab with these engines can easily fit into a standard parking spot. And for a flying ambulance, the speed of 250 km per hour will come in handy. It's anticipated that a full battery charge will provide approximately half an hour of flight time, and recharging it will take just 40 minutes with a Tesla fast charger. Anouk Wiprecht is a remarkable designer having even worked on a collection for Audi. This Dutch designer also created Screen Dress, and what's intriguing is that its components are 3D printed. Plus, you can literally control the dress with your thoughts. The dress's screens alter their patterns based on signals from the wearer's brain, captured through an electroencephalogram. Moreover, the dress is adaptive and takes into account the unique brain activity of each person. What's most fascinating is that the dress operates using the affordable single-board computer, the Raspberry Pi Zero. AI plays a valuable role in envisioning future gadgets. It can sketch and describe almost anything, including hoverboards. While it might sound amusing, there are already quite a few working hoverboards out there. Take this one, for instance, created by Lexus in 2015. Did the future arrive back then and we missed it? Unfortunately, not. Lexus used a little trick. To make it work, they had to build a unique skate park with metal plates under the surface. The hoverboard itself contains strong magnets and superconductors, chilled to minus 197 degrees Celsius using liquid nitrogen.
With ongoing efforts to create hoverboards, they might one day become a common sight, much like electric scooters are now. Swedish company Autoliv is rightly pondering how to enhance road safety, given their history as pioneers in producing two-point seatbelts back in 1953. Safety is their forte. Autoliv proposes airbags to safeguard scooter riders, skaters, and other less protected road users from injuries. One airbag is attached to the scooter or other modes of transportation, while the second is fixed on the car near the windshield area. This combination of airbags offers optimal protection, even in a head-on collision. Nevertheless, there's no news of mass production yet. A relief for people who spend long hours in front of a computer has emerged from Hong Kong. Local inventor Louis Huang has developed a monitor that relies on natural light for illumination. When viewed from the front, the 24-inch monitor appears like a standard one. However, on the back, Huang has added a light collector and reflector. Of course, it's not suitable for working in the dark without an extra lamp. But during the day, it's a win for both your eyes and your wallet, as the monitor's power usage drops to just 4 watts. The inventor has found success on Kickstarter, and intends to ship the monitors to backers next year. The price for a monitor is $569. The American team Fluid Reality also took a peek into the future with this XR gloves prototype. The term XR now covers all technologies related to virtual, augmented, and mixed reality. The Fluid Reality team is aiming high. The standout feature of these gloves is the tactile pixels on the fingertips. The developers have packed in as many as 20 of these pixels on every square centimeter. Each one is a small hydraulic pump without any moving parts, working through an electric field. These pumps generate tiny bubbles within the pixels, creating a sense of pressure for the glove wearer. The makers are confident that if these gloves hit the market, they'll cost end users $1,000, which is five times cheaper than similar options from other manufacturers. Project Silica is a technology that stores data in quartz glass wafers. It may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's a real and functional invention developed by Microsoft. They mention that a small 75 by 75 by 2 mm quartz plate can hold up to 75.6 gigabytes of data. They use a laser to create tiny three-dimensional patterns and record data. To retrieve it, they've developed a system based on artificial intelligence algorithms. These plates can withstand scratches, magnetic fields, and even boiling. The data stored on them can last for approximately 10,000 years. Microsoft suggests using these plates in cloud servers. Motorola is no stranger to innovation. At the Lenovo Tech World 2023, the company unveiled an intriguing prototype of a flexible smartphone. It's so flexible that you can wrap it around your wrist. This could be a great deal. You buy a smartphone and you also get a smart watch. Plus, you don't need a stand for your phone anymore. Now, you can enjoy a video while having lunch. In its regular form, the screen's diagonal is 6.9 inches. When bent, it reduces to 4.6 inches. Whether this smartphone will be mass-produced remains uncertain. However, Motorola showcased a similar concept back in 2016, so it seems someone at the company is fond of this idea.
the Japanese have created a huge walking robot about the size of a car. This 3.4 meter long giant can comfortably carry four people. The company that built it specializes in amusement rides, and that's no coincidence. The robot, named SRO2, moves at a slow pace, but it can squat, turn around in one spot, and bring joy to both the audience and its passengers. The robot can be controlled remotely. It's still a long way from the Star Wars AT-AT walker, but we might see similar robots in amusement parks. Who knows, the next model might be even bigger. Though many will be impressed by the SRO2 standing at 1.9 meters tall. A strong base isn't just for parties and loud cars. As it turns out, it can also be used to put out fires. Students from the George Mason University in the US have created a sound-based fire extinguisher. While the idea isn't new, their extinguisher is compact and works well, successfully putting out burning alcohol in tests. The most effective approach is to employ sound frequencies between 30 and 60 Hz. The students only spent $600 on the project, and the idea is to mount these fire extinguishers on drones. Many folks wish to bring not just their stuff, but their entire home when moving. Well, New Zealand company Tid Ross Todd, or TRT, has trailers designed just for that. One of these trailers can extend to a whopping 23 meters in length, and boasts an impressive weight of 58 tons. They also come with double axle steering and a torsional box system that increases strength by 40%. Additionally, each wheel has its own hydraulic jack allowing the trailer to lower to ground level or be raised to a height of approximately 2.8 meters. The operator can control the trailer using a remote control. Meanwhile, the American company Matador offers this compact stuff sack that can be attached to your keychain, priced at $17. It's designed for people who frequently visit the pool or beach. Before taking a dip, you can stow your smartphone, wallet, and other items that should stay dry in the stuff sack. After you swim, it's ideal for holding a swimsuit, swim trunks, and other damp items. The stuff sack has a capacity of 2.5 liters and weighs just 23 grams. It's made from nylon with a silicon body for the case, and it includes a stainless steel ring. Finishing up today's selection is another compact and highly practical solution known as Miller Safe Escape. It proves invaluable when you need to descend from a significant height, making it ideal for high-rise installers. The device can handle up to 250 kilograms and includes a 50-meter rope. It provides a decent speed of 1 meter per second and operates in a temperature range spanning from 50 to minus 50 degrees Celsius.